Happy NHL Draft Day, except the LA Kings will not be joining in with the first round as they have traded away their first round pick along with prospect Brock Faber to the Minnesota Wild in return for Kevin Fiala. Hey, I'm Gio. I am a professional sportscaster and this is my channel where we talk about all things Pacific Division hockey. Let's go. This season, the LA Kings didn't really impress that much with their scoring. Their top goal scorer was Adrian Kemp with 35 goals and their top point scorer was Ans Kopitar with 60 67 points. This is a pretty big gap from the coveted 100 point season that you want to be seeing the forwards of top teams achieving and has left a lot to be desired on the Kings front line. Even despite the Kings playoff qualification, their seven game series against the Edmonton Oilers saw the Kings get a grand total of 17 goals, a feat which the Oilers achieved in the first three games of that series. So if you need to beef up your first line for an upcoming season, what are you going to prioritize? An established player or a first round pick? It's pretty clear that the Kings priority right now is on experience and a proven track record. Their prospect pool is looking pretty strong and this is something that needs implementation now, not after a couple of years of development. Kevin Viola is a player who has been around for a few years himself now. He was originally drafted in 2014, first round 11th overall by the Nashville Predators, where he spent kind of balanced time between both their NHL team and their AHL affiliate, the Milwaukee Admirals. But eventually in 2019, he got traded over to the Minnesota Wild. Fiala was put through a number of different line combinations, but it's generally agreed that he really started to see his full potential when he was put on a line with Matt Boldy, who'd just been called up from the Iowa Wild, and Frederick Goudreau. Goudreau. <laughs> Frederick Goudreau. This was the 21 to 22 season and it saw Fiala go 33, 52, 85 in 82 games. So that is a greater than one point per game average. His goals were predominantly at even strength and then his assists were by far and away on a power play. The LA Kings acquired Fiala as a restricted free agent on June the 29th and immediately offered him a seven year contract extension at $55.125 million, which is actually a lower average annual value than a lot of people were expecting him to get. The assumption I believe is that Fiala will become line mates with Kopitar and Kemp and this is going to be pretty important as the different line combinations that he's been on in the past have had quite a significant influence on his performance. As it stands, Kopitar and Kemp are the two highest performers on the team right now so if there is anyone who is to enable Fiala's strengths then it should in theory be them. But Fiala has a very fast aggressive playstyle and he's going to require his line mates to be able to keep up with that if the Kings are going to get the full value out of him. This is probably the biggest trade news that has come out of this week, especially as most teams are preparing for the NHL draft, which will be happening today and tomorrow. LA previously held the 19th pick as part of the first round, but now their first draft selection will be 51st pick as part of the second round. What do you guys think of the LA Kings acquisition of Kevin Fiala? I know a lot of people are kind of excited about it. And there were some other conversations I heard about other teams who were maybe looking to pick him up or, you know, fans hoping that he would be able to get traded to their team but he's going to be going to LA and hopefully building a really really strong first line with them and providing something that they simply didn't have it in this past season. Obviously the big thing right now is that the draft is happening today. I am super stoked for it. Uh, let me know what you guys are hoping from the draft, what you think is going to happen. Do you think LA are going to be able to get what they want from the 51st pick or do you think that they're going to be missing out having given away their first round? Let me know in the comments but for now I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.